Ancient artifacts of Afghanistan, glistening treasures in the dust, is a display of 231 rare artifacts, including golden glasswares, bronze sculptures, and ivory carvings. The collection was unearthed from four famous archaeological sites in Afghanistan. National Museum of Afghanistan director Mohammad Rahimi said because Afghanistan borders many countries, including China, these artifacts attest to the role ancient Afghanistan played as a cultural crossroads of the Silk Road, which eventually promoted the exchange and integration of world civilizations. So Afghanistan has been given the title of the crossroad of the ancient civilization by different scholars of the world. So we had a very, very good relation with different civilizations in the past. So that's why we we can see a lot of actually influence of、uh, different culture in our objects. Mr. Rahimi added that Afghanistan is sharing its exhibit with Hong Kong as a gesture of goodwill and friendship, and with the hope of strengthening relations with China. So we have also uh, seen uh, uh, different examples of our ancient relation with with China. Because of that, we want to build in our relation with 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 China through this exhibition, and we show that there has been a very good connections in the past. Hong Kong Museum of History curator Joyce Ho explained that many of the exhibits come equipped with interactive designs, so that visitors can appreciate and compare and contrast displayed treasures with similar artifacts. This silver plate with gold designs depicts Cybele, the great mother of all gods in Greek mythology. In front of her is Nike, the Greek goddess of victory. It attests to the integration of multicultural elements and styles from Greece and other ancient cultures of Asia Minor. This solid gold belt is adorned with nine medallions representing a deity riding on a lion. It is thought to be the Central Asian Kushan goddess Nana, or the god of wine in Greek mythology. The exhibition is co-presented by the Leisure and Cultural Services Department and the National Museum of Afghanistan. It will run from November 6 to February 10 at the Museum of History.